Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I've got five tips to increase your shot power. Just before we get into the five tips, I want to say a huge thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. OneFootball is a free football app that you can download onto your smart device and keeps you fully up to date in the world of football. And with live scores, transfer rumors, match highlights, it's never been easier to follow your favorite leagues, teams, and players. So download the OneFootball app today, links in the description. So the first tip is the run-up. And the run-up is where we build up the momentum and the more momentum we can put into the strike, the more force we're gonna have through the movements and it's gonna add extra power to the strike. So what we're looking for is to get the ball out of our feet so we have enough room to generate a run-up. If the ball's underneath our feet and we don't generate a run-up, it's gonna be hard to get any power behind it. And usually what will happen, we'll overcompensate by either hitting too low on the ball or we just won't generate enough power. So if the ball's really close to me and I try and shoot, as you can see, it kind of floats through the air, not much power. It's not going to challenge the goalkeeper. So we need to get that ball out of our feet. So we need to shift it so that we can get three or four decent strides in. And what I like to do is lean forward. That's a good way to generate some speed. And then my final stride right before I kick the ball is going to be a bit longer. And that way I'm going to have a larger range of movement. I'm going to put more power through the strike and it will have more power in the shot. As you can see with that one, goes through the air a lot flatter. It's gonna be a lot more difficult for the goalkeeper to save. The second tip is our planting foot. And this is where our accuracy comes and also our stability for a more disciplined striking technique. So when we plant our foot, we're essentially balancing on one foot. And you can try this for yourself. It's much easier to balance on one leg with a slight bend in the knee than if you're upright. So we need to replicate this in our shooting technique because if we're off balance, chances are the shot's gonna go wayward. So we're gonna plant our foot beside the ball. I like to put my ankle directly through the middle of the ball, and then I have a slight bend in my knee pointing directly at my target. So planting directly at my target, everything's aligned, that's gonna help the accuracy. Then I've got a slight bend in the knee, that's gonna help me with my stability, so I'm more balanced through the strike. Look at the difference here. If I'm upright, the ball kind of drags along the ground. It's not very clean. But if I have a slight bend in the knee, as you can see, the shot is a lot cleaner. And that's because I've got that stability in my knee so I can strike right through the center of that ball. The third tip is our backswing. And this is how far back we draw the leg before striking the ball. And I like to think of it like a bow and arrow. The further back you pull the bow, the further and faster the arrow is going to go. And the same applies to your shooting technique. So if I don't provide a good backswing, if I'm just from this position here, it's really hard to generate any power or momentum over this short distance. But if I really flex my leg almost so my foot is parallel with my hip, there's a greater range of movement and you're going to generate more power. So see the difference here? If I don't have a good backspin, as you can see, the ball just kind of floats through the air. But if I really increase that range of movement with a large backswing, it should look like this. As you can see, once again, travels through the air a lot flatter. It's going to be more difficult for the goalie to save. The fourth tip is contact areas. So you've got two contact areas. First is where you strike the ball with your foot. And the second is where on the ball you strike. So to generate the most power, the part of the foot you want to be striking with is right around here. It's the hardest bone in the foot. This is the sweet spot. Provides a cleaner surface area to strike the ball. If you hit with one of the softer areas, Chances are you're going to add more spin onto the ball. And if the ball goes through the air with a lot of spin, it's going to drag, slow the ball down. It's not going to be as powerful. And the part of the ball you want to be striking is right through the heart, right through the center. Once again, if you hit off to the side, it's going to spin. What's going to happen is it's going to slow down in the air. So you want to get as close to the middle of the ball as you possibly can. And that's going to provide the purest strike. And the final tip is our follow through. So this is our movement after we've struck the ball. So with our follow through, we want to make sure it's very disciplined. If it's not disciplined and it's wayward, the shot is also going to be wayward. So a couple of key points for you. First thing, you want to be striking towards your target. So after you've struck the ball, make sure you're following through towards your target. That's going to improve your accuracy. And also with your non-kicking foot, your planting foot, I tend to come off of it because when you strike with a powerful shot, it's hard to stay balanced on that leg. And if you're not balanced, we've already spoken about this, the shot is going to be more wayward. So what we want to do after we've struck the ball, I like to come off of my non-kicking foot 
and land back on my kicking foot. A quick bonus tip for those of you who are brand new to this technique, start off practicing closer to the goal and with a stationary ball. This is a great way to get lots of reps and working on getting that good clean contact on the ball. Once you get consistent with this, you can start to roll the ball out in front of you, once again from a closer distance until you gain confidence with it. Then once you do master the technique, start to increase the distance between the ball and the goal until you can shoot from long range. So there we go guys, five tips to increasing your shot power. And the final bonus tip is to get out there and practice as much as you can. Once you've figured out a technique that's comfortable for you, repetition is key. So strike the ball over and over and over again to build up that consistency. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.